Guys, welcome to Global Food Quest Guide to Surviving Corona. The kids are in the other room, they're screaming, there's art going on. I've almost cut my finger off. I think we're good, hang on. Almost, but didn't. And I've got something quite odd here. So, picture this. You go shopping, there's hardly anything left in the shops and you come across these. These are chicken hearts. Um, one of my favorite things, I absolutely love them. This is what they look like. Some people will bark, some people will get squeamish, but trust me, these are utterly delicious. We're gonna make the most simple, sweet and sour chicken hearts ever here. So, chicken hearts, flour, Corn flour, preferably, if you can get it. I couldn't. Um, then, little bit of soy sauce. Little bit of Worcestershire sauce. It's not essential, but it's very good. Um, and then we're gonna go to the wok with this. Right now, um, oil, nice and hot. These are going in, and we're gonna add barbecue sauce and tomato sauce. That's it, that is it. Top it off with some coriander and chili because we've got it. If you can't get it, it doesn't matter. Let's go, good. Okay, chicken hearts in. Ah, you want this hotter than that. You want this nice and hot and plenty of oil. Yeah, it's good, this is good. Then we're just gonna wait for these to kind of cook through a little bit, to be honest, for a second and start coloring up nicely, getting the brown edges, just the flour basically on the outside's got to almost turn into like a, a very kind of, a slight batter. You know, it's gonna coat them. They're gonna be crispy, they're gonna spit, this is good. And uh, these, honestly, they're really tender. I think they're chewy, they're kind of tender, dense meat. They're not very gamey, they're very subtle, beautiful taste. Um, and I like them skewered as well and done on a barbecue, kind of uh, in like Thai style marinades. See as they start to colour up on the edges like that. Just that coloration we're starting to get here. It's good. You definitely don't want to overcook these either. So about two minutes like that. In with the barbecue sauce. That is about a tablespoon. And in with uh, ketchup. About one and a half tablespoons. And it should start coming together as a sticky, gooey, sweet and sour, vinegary, barbecuey mess. Now, there's a lot you could do to this. You could add into there, um, you could layer it up with like vinegar and oyster sauce. Sesh round pepper, some smoked chilies, but you don't need to. You can do it really simply like this. Cool. Now when it's about that stage here, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of chili. Try and avoid the fingernail. Unless uh, the customer's paid extra, in which case, plenty of fingernail. Wicked, look, now these are starting to really car caramelize the sugar in the barbecue sauce and ketchup starting to caramelize and the flour is starting to emulsify, emulsify? No, coagulate and give you kind of that sticky, sweet, gloopy, delectable texture that you need. Approximately four minutes of cooking overall, that'll do. Hit it with the rest of the coriander. Cool. Oh. And there, yeah, we're kind of ready to plate up. So, insert here rice. Goes really well with just white rice. Yeah, you've got it, man. Sweet and sour chicken hearts. And screaming kids. I highly recommend you try these. So if you're in the supermarket and there's only chicken heart, barbecue sauce and ketchup, you know what you're making. 
this. That was the Global Food Quest Guide to Surviving Corona. Sweet and sour chicken hearts. Cheers. Like, subscribe, try these. I promise you, you're gonna change your mind. They're really good. See you later.